Discovery of the Gurik Zone by Richard A. Lupoff. I said I'd say something this month about sex robots. So, I guess I fulfilled my word there. Um, I didn't really promise, but I intended to. So, you have your main characters in the story. Njord. Shotten. And Gumati. And the subject is, uh, you know, it's just a passing thing in the story or I really wouldn't have finished it. Um, the interaction between, you know, which cyborg parts are you going to include in yourself, right? Um, which mind, uh, you know, are you going to try to use your human side and be more interactive, more sensual? Are you going to use your higher processing, more enduring machine side? Even at the case of irritating others. And this goes way beyond just that sort of thing. Um, the story doesn't really have much to offer other than the, uh, you know, things don't always turn out well, sort of Lovecraftian sort of thing. There's political speculation that's put into it that doesn't really seem to offer any insights. There is descriptions which just repeat some Lovecraftian sort of words. The talk about planets that may uh, not always be known, but when things are right, and discovering weird things going on. An attempt at fascism to f force, you know, some decency and control rather than just some technology-driven debauchery, and then finding yourself in some strange place. Um, because with technology, there's ethical considerations that you may want to put into uh, play. And are you interacting with other people sexually and otherwise? Just, you know, because you can... Are you sharing feelings? Are you, is there some sort of spiritual relationship? Um, there is mention of rituals and stuff done by particular entities or, uh, I mean, for the sake of certain entities, but secularism seems to be the brunt of this tale more than the others.